Hi, this is S.J. Srana, Surinder Singh Rana reporting for November 3rd, 2024 and we got a lot of world events, we're gonna cover this uh, this episode however look at the sun facing directly earth CME also it gave some uh, ominous look for the Halloween October 31st which just passed away and you can see still the remnants of Halloween can be seen all around on sun so anyways folks uh, sun is ready to again flare solar maximum 25 have elapsed and we're gonna see solar cycle 26 emerge with major flares for 2025 I've already predicted hashtag MAY 2025 END yep I've been predicting that and this prediction has been going on for the last 14 years on my oneworldpress.wordpress.com or oneworldpress.org yep this is uh, my site domain for the last 14 years I've been editor-in-chief and I've been uh, reporting to you for all world events in advance before its news as always I keep uh, keep uh, reminding you of my personal disclaimer that SJS Rana, Surinder Singh Rana which is me has never taken anything from metaphor morons, rapists, racist faces, devils of India running around my neighborhood some, uh, some me metaphor moron tricks has always been there as you can see this is my this is my neighborhood here I have this uh, I have my car parking and I'm parking my car over here in the front yard just in front of my front gate so folks uh, the reminder is here so that you can understand that uh, you know there are many thugs scammers imposters impersonators in India which will have start some maybe some scam or game look like a game or scam in the neighborhood where they will do some action so that they can uh, they can uh, be on the right location and time and then they can grab steal thug uh, the bounties car cash money international visa yeah it's very popular the hungry beggars of India the racist hungry beggars of India are all around you know you throw them some visa and the hungry beggars will jump on it it doesn't matter whether they have uh, a one million dollar in their account or they have uh, one dollar in their account the hungry beggars of India racist faces devil rapist of India will always grab pounds steal thug females, girls, uh, international visas, car, money, cash, they'll steal, they'll grab, they'll do anything for that, they'll die for it. You have no idea about the Indian beggars. The tendency is in their DNA of begging and, and, and basically stealing of others. Also, we know the trespassing morons of India, which is 90,000 above, were basically shunted out of US recently in September 2024, where uh, the whole charter fright took place from DHS which basically shunted out 90,000 Indians yep the trespassing morons are, are always in the DNA you can see the DNA it's trespass trespass into any 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 place any nation that's in the DNA uh, we see for the racist faces rap rapist devils of India so folks once again I'm highlighting like uh, my frontier residence and whatnot see I am telling you these I'm sharing all these glimpses of my personal life some of the glimpses which is basically public also because uh, the car I'm parking is, is, is on the on, on a front yard of mine and this is the reason I'm doing it because there are a lot of thugs impersonators scammers of India which will basically grab things or which will demand from international leadership uh, international visas car cash money bounty females girls you know so that has been going on and it's merged with the india sex trafficking industry india sex trafficking industry is the fastest and the largest industry in the world yep it will be hard for you to believe but india sex trafficking industry is the largest and the fastest industry in the world folks not only do they have over 80 million females daily traded sold exchanged raped molested grabbed hijacked Yep, 85 million is not a normal number. That's daily traded India females. So India females for sales basically which the sex trafficking agency agents of India claim in my neighborhood. So in the beginning you saw my personal disclaimer as always. I have always always told you that SGS Rana, Surinder Singh Rana has never taken anything from India races, faces, rapists, devils, delivery agents. Yep, delivery agents. These are basically racist, faces and rapist devils of India the delivery agents so the uh, the world leadership is aware but I keep reminding them again and again that whatever you hire as a delivery agent they are all racist faces rapist devils these people uh, have no uh, spine they are spineless people and they are they are the thugs scammers itself 
and they are part and parcel of the larger nexus of India criminal cronies. So basically, they're working from India. India, basically, maybe state-sponsored terrorism or criminal cronies, you know. So never trust them. As I keep repeating you always, that 8 out of 10, every 10 India population is downright corrupt, mostly morally, ethically bankrupt, pathological liars, with exceptional hate crimes against humanity, truth-tellers, and original personality as yes, Rana. Yep. That has been the trait and you got to you got to see in the eyes of the devil to know the devil is there. The devil is surging and devil is expanding tentacles all across the globe. So this is this is something which we are which we are uncovering now from India, how the global tentacles of uh, racist faces rapist devils association of India is spreading now. So folks, I keep I keep all these posts updated and give you all some glimpses of the videos of my of my zone areas where I just keep telling you that uh, you know uh, I am I am always away far far away from this uh, racist faces rapist devils industry and sex traffic industry I have never accepted any female any girl I've never taken it I've never participated in it I've never been into the metaphor morons rapist racist faces devils raping devils of India you know these things are always around my neighborhood I keep telling you again and again so today I just arrived. I was at my other residence for past uh, seven, eight days, several days, which was in uh, Jawaharnagar. This is in uh, Galaxy Enclave, or you know the uh, the the urban village in Kalwara. So which is near Mahindra says, which is very popular in Jaipur. So anyways, folks, this is just to share some glimpses that I, I just arrived today at my residence one, which is uh, basically I've been here for a very long time, and you are aware I've been updating you a lot of posts from here. And on oneworldpress.org, I'm updating all the posts. You can always click on it and get to know the latest and the greatest which is going on. So, folks, as you can see, I parked my car in front of my front yard. The gate is open, so which which is very rare because I don't. I'm not a person who is sighted very easily. You know, I have a life which is very very surreal, and it's basically more focused on spiritual life. So I don't interact with a lot of people, just to let you know, folks. I'm not that kind of person, and neither do I'm most available, abundantly available, visible uh, creature of India. You know, basically, as I keep telling you, you know, the perverts, pedophile, predators, thugs, scammers, impersonators are most abundantly available, visible creatures in India. Yep, wherever you go, you'll hit them first, you know, or they will grab you. Moment you are around in my neighborhood, there are many thugs, scammers, you know, some outsiders, who knows. They'll grab. They'll grab everything, you know. You throw them prison time, they'll grab it. <laughs> so I've been telling you again and again, throw them some prison time, you know. So they grab it. They have a habit of grabbing just like a bullfrog, America, American bullfrog. You know, the bullfrog will grab everything, scorpion, snake, whatnot, you know, any trash you give them, it'll grab. So there are people over here, they have tendency to grab, hijack. And they have, they are like beggars who will beg for car. They'll beg for international visa. They'll beg for cash, care, money, and even they'll tug or they'll scam or they'll loot. They'll plunder. They'll steal also for others. So if something is basically destined for me or has come as a favor from international leadership, there are many thugs, scammers which will scam and they'll grab it. They'll steal that. They'll say, oh no, we'll keep it. We'll deliver to the other person. So that's the case, folks. You just, I just want to have you on the same page that I have never taken anything. Okay, never, never taken anything from these thugs, these scammers, delivery agents of India, which are basically spineless, uh, racist faces, rapist devils. They are pure devils, you know. They will only work for the devils of India. They will not work for saints. They don't work for me. Neither do I interact with them. Because, uh, you know, in India, it's, it's, it's advised that you never talk to the stranger who is around your house. So if you're talking to a stranger, you have to be a rapist or a racist. Because a rapist can talk to a rapist. Most of the devils, you know, who are around my neighborhood, I see strangers, you know, you never know they're marital rape people or they are basically raping females, girls. And they can become a delivery agent. And I can sense from my sixth sense, my spiritual sixth sense, that I don't need to talk to them because it's, it's better to stay away from them because you never know, you know, you can get implicated if you talk to strangers around your neighborhood. So I've never talked to them, folks. And I'm the least abundantly available, visible person in India. I am very busy with my spiritual life. It's very hard for me to comprehend daily outside what is going uh, nonsense or many times they say b-shit. So all this b-shit metaphor, morons, criminals, uh, perhaps international leadership is very pleased with the, their b-shit. They like their b-shit every time and they they, <laughs> they are they are siding with devils, you know. They, they, they get befooled. Many of the international leadership become idiot, nincompoop, because these Indian scammers, thugs are very, very popular and they can they can scam anyone 
just about anyone so folks as you can see i'm parking my car inside this is my residence here villa 77 on galaxy urban village just to let you know i'm just giving you some more information because the thugs the scammers of india the uh, they will they will make you idiots they look they'll make you look like idiots and income poop always because they are the best scammers beggars racist faces rapist mindset you know marital rape people india is having a big problem of marital rapes i tell you folks you know the, despite heated debate in supreme court of india the marital rapes of india laws has not been made so far so long so folks that just it bit so you can see i'm parking my car here and i'll be i'll be the one who will be basically um, closing the closing the gate so that you know i i get my isolation i get my spiritual time basically it's spiritual time most of the time so i hardly get 10% time to spend for outside world you know i just report to you that's part of my daily work routine daily chores so i keep reporting on the world events i keep reporting on global events i keep reporting on uh, on on ad advising you or alerting you beforehand that earthquake or tsunami or some kind of mother nature wrath is around there or something of major event is about to occur i have already predicted you world war 3 in 2019 uh, you can check my tutor post which was then known as tutor in 2019 October September I predicted World War 3 will start by May so I predicted hashtag #may2020 ww3 so you already saw the fatalities of pathogens you know so it's a world war the pathogens were raging the war if there were not atomic bombs or nuclear weapons so folks this is my this is my gift to humanity always and this is all selfless service you know it's not like i demand any car cash visa females girls or international visas i have never demanded i'm not that person Uh, you know india scammers maybe so anyway folks we'll shift the topic quickly jump to the main topic as you are aware india and canada is having deep row not only political but government but also high level delegation government officials all are in a row basically it's it, it is it is uh, uh, spawning or uh, coming from uh, government of trudeau and kerala government which is basically identifying and have identified india as a threat to canada yep india has been named first time in their in their uh, in their cyber security that india is posed as a threat to their their government and their uh, infrastructure their it networks and what not the hackers of india have clubbed together according to the intelligence of canada with russian hackers and they are basically trying to uh, you know hack into the canada systems or they're going to make them uh, you know basically uh, dysfunctional this is the this is the intent they have discovered so for the first time canada has put india in the list of china iran russia as the group of hackers which can attack Go Canada government site and cripple their infrastructure basically to bring down you know the power grid of Canada and this is a assessment they have done and they have uh, highly credible intelligence from i5 you know i5 intelligence and i7 intelligence which they always consult and Canada is not just blaming in thin air or just out of you know out of dream they woke up and they say oh india is involved in criminal cronies diplomats are involved in criminal cronies in Canada it is out of i7 i5 intelligence folks they always consult them and then after consulting they they start uh, doing the investigation further and put charges for whosoever the nation is this time it's india they have identified india as a potential key threat to canada so not only canada is uh, labeled accused india of cyber threats against canada potential also they have labeled uh, the union home minister amit shah yep this person amit shah has been named by canada government that he is the person who has been supporting violence has been running the campaign of violence in canada they have directly accused the union home minister amit shah this is a big deal folks canada has already shunted out thrown away all india diplomats based on credible intelligence from i5 that the india diplomats are running criminal campaign criminal networking in canada so this time they have labeled amit shah which is union home minister of india directly indirectly involved in running violence campaign in canada yeah they have labeled him as a violence running violence campaign so to which india obviously state of denial will obviously reject on the first saying or on the first sighting they will never go and do the investigation and say okay let's match the proofs and evidences 
so anyways uh, they have protested uh, in a big way they have said that uh, uh, india has recently mentioned that their diplomats are under surveillance 24 by 7 <laughs> so folks for the first time india is getting pinch of surveillancing their diplomats getting surveillance so far india has been known to the world that they follow and troll people all around they troll innocent saints uh, human right activists even in canada india government was very popular that diplomats were basically 24 by 7 surveillancing and trolling india or the human rights activist in us and canada but now when india diplomats are being trolled or being surveillance that's the purported report they are becoming they are becoming they are, they have loud they have loud hue and cries so this hue and cries is basically alarming the world nation that uh, you know the nations can surveillance diplomats if they find that they are assisting with uh, the adversaries like russia so last time as you are aware when modi visited the us uh, when there was a press conference there is one journalist sabrina siddiqui who is working for wall street journal and she is a journalist she raised a question directly to modi in the us in press conference that uh, how modi is protecting the human rights of uh, of ethnic minorities basically muslims sikhs and christian to which modi did not have any major answer because obviously he knows he has shunted they have shunted out amnesty international and lot of other human rights organization from india so they have no answer they could not reply they could not reply verbatimly or completely to the question of a wall street journalist named sabrina siddiqui who asked a simple question to modi that what are you doing to protect human rights of ethnic minorities christian muslim and sikhs in india so folks uh, you got to be aware what is going around and who is doing deceit and deception who is selling the snakes oil you got to be very aware you cannot simply take one person because modi could be could be a little right person he could be a person who who may not be uh, directly involved in deceit deception in recent years and he may be wearing white white robe all the time or white uh, attire all the time but that doesn't mean the whole india is uh, wearing the white attire or whole india is just like modi so you cannot just uh, take one person like modi and say oh yeah everybody may be like a modi so there are very different people i keep reminding you all the time every 8 out of 10 india population is downright corrupt mostly morally ethically bankrupt pathological liars with exceptional hate crime against humanity to tellers and original personality as jay srana just bear this in mind you know whenever you are you are you are just talking anything about india so however people have tendency to trespass they have tendency to steal rob thug scam you know belligerent on lies they can tell lies after lies after lies i tell you the amount of lies i have seen in in india people speaking is unimaginable is cannot be comprehended folks you cannot compare america with india you cannot compare canada with india there is no way you cannot compare sweden with india you can never compare uk with india the people over there have a consciousness even have conscience to basically stick to truth no matter what no matter what it costs but in india people will speak lies just to kill the flies also they'll do they'll do anything you know they will they'll just speak lies just like that they don't feel ashamed like oh they have been telling lies or they are speaking lies or they're spreading misinformation they don't they simply don't care they keep talking about the god the karma and you know the india is the birthplace for a lot of religions they keep talking about that all the time but talking doesn't make a person saint mere talking it has to be the practice they have to practice truth in their life and they have to adhere to truth they cannot keep scamming around the whole world all the time and then claim oh no india is we are the followers of the god we are the original personalities or what not you know so folks you got to be very aware so this uh, this thing is going on this thing is the brawl you can say or you can say the the ball is rolling from both canada and india and they are in tussle they are daily blaming each other and uh, recently the canada has basically restricted india immigration to the canada yep as you are aware lot of people lot of lot of thousands and thousands and thousands of uh, indian aspirant and basically they are basically begging for canada visas you know they're begging literally begging these people who have been begging canada visa have now been restricted canada government has put a stop Uh, however india has nothing to do over here india cannot put a stop on canada because canada is not barging into india or begging for india visa 
Nobody begs for India visa, folks. I'll let you know. It is only India people mostly are seen begging for US, Sweden, UK, Europe, Canada, Australia visas. You can see the huge lines in your, in your, uh, in your consulate. You can see them begging the visas. It's, a, it's in tendency. Hi folks, so you're doing this is SJS Rana. Surinder G Singh Rana reporting for October 27th, 2024. With a lot of events we have reporting for oneworldpress.org. Yep, my same site for last 14 years. Editor and chief for oneworldpress.wordpress.com. Serving humanity for last 14 plus years. Yep, folks, we got a lot of topics this time. Uh, I'm going to break it down for you. And these are some important critical topics. But let's first take a look at the sun. So sun, as you can see, has come from the far east side to facing earth now. And as I told you by Sunday, I told you four or five days before, that by Sunday we should expect a lot of CMEs from sun. Yep, multiple CMEs and major X-class players from sun. I'm expecting. I predicted you already. My part is to alert the humanity, to awaken the humanity, rekindle the growth of uh, compassion and uh, try to rebuild the networking of humanity and try to expose the devils, the racist, fascist, rapist, devils association of India. Folks, you got to be very, very alert now that India networking of criminal cronies is expanding like anything and the racist, fascist, rapist, devils of India, sex trafficking uh, agents of India are spreading across the whole world. And before the sun could unleash the final uh, blow to the earth, it's better we save the humanity or else these racist, faces, rapist devils of India are going to put the earth into abyss. So, okay, folks, uh, very uh, concerning topic. As I told you, first come first, we're going to look at how the U.S. is reacting towards the India population explosion and their trespassing morons spreading everywhere. Yep, India is a nation known for trespassing morons also. Wherever they find a land, they'll grab it. I tell you folks, wherever they find the land, they'll grab it. So trespassing morons of India are spreading everywhere because uh, they're exploding with the population because of the marital rapes, Olympics gold medal distribution of India in bedrooms, washrooms, houses of uh, India daily. It's the marital rape Olympics and it's producing massive population of India. One third size of China is having 1.6 billion population of India. So the trespassing morons of India, yep, they are shameless trespassing morons. They don't care. They, they just want to grab the land and enter inside. So that's the trait. That's another trait which world is coming to know now. And US recently has basically shunted out almost 90,000 India illegal immigrants to the US. Yep. This is a big, huge population. Always India is the largest population who is barging into US trespassing morons has the largest population trespassing morons of India. They are trying to grab land everywhere. So this is a warning generated from me to the whole world nations that you got to be very watchful of India trespassing morons. Okay, these people are belligerent. They are, they are belligerent. They don't care. They don't care for other humanity. They only care for themselves and they want to grab land everywhere. That's a big issue going on. So I've generated this warning alert for the whole world and the nation leadership must take account of what trespassing morons of India are barging into their nation. Because recently there's a big spat going on between Canada and India after the Canada dis discovered that the India diplomats, yep, India diplomats high level delegation were basically involved in criminal cronies, running criminal cronies campaign in their nation. So this is a big discovery, not a small discovery, and based on that, the trespassing morons of India are now being watched everywhere in all the nations across the world. you got to be very careful. They are going to make every attempt to trespass into your nation illegally. Apart from that, we also know that India is the largest and fastest growing sex trafficking industry. India human trafficking industry is the largest and the fastest growing industry. Okay, folks, that is another thing which you must keep in mind. So the devil's deeds are always exposed someday, sooner or later. And we know India is the largest sex trafficking industry. 
with over 100 billion dollars USD in cash. Yeah, the India sex trafficking industry is so common that I see all around my neighborhood females are being trafficked, stored in some room across my neighborhood, and some devil racist faces rapist devil will pick and rape the female. And it's popular in India that you never know who's raping who in your neighborhood. Yeah, it could be the next house wherever I'm residing. Someone could be raping a racist faces rapist devil of India would be raping. You will never know because in India you never know who is raping who in neighborhood. It could be marital rape. It could be liquor drinking husband forcing mouth sex on females of India. So okay folks, on the illegal morons or uh, you can say trespassing morons of India, uh, the report is that this year, which is uh, from 2024 to 2020, uh, 2023 to 2024 September, US, you know US DHS and US, uh, US Border Security Patrol has discovered that almost 90,000 illegal Indians were trying to trespass trespassing morons into the US and they have caught them, they ported them and the big thing is they had a whole flight booked for trespassing morons of India yep they had to book the whole charter flight to shunt down trespassing morons of India last year trespassing morons of India into US figure was 96,000 folks above 96,000 this should be alarming and it should be a warning to your nation you got to protect from illegal immigrants from India trespassing morons that these people will grab land when they enter they will grab everything they like a hungry beggar trespassing morons so Canada and India spat is already into limelight the world i7 intelligence knows everything about what Canada is stating and India as usual state of denial <laughs> always state of denial they deny anything everything and everything devil racist faces they'll deny they'll they'll put Mohit, Modi yoga head with the white clothes on with the right, uh, white robe claiming that India is pure as Modi white uh, robe and his yoga is working to win Olympics gold medal everywhere you saw how India performed in Olympics 2024 France Paris where India won zero gold medal with Modi yoga Modi yoga is very popular among Indians so folks you got to take a look at the devils you got to see uh, you got to take a look at the eyes of the devils and you straight look in the eyes of the devil you'll find the devils are spreading across their tentacles all across the world Canada is alert Canada is awakened now and it's not going to buy India bullshit sorry uh, mark my words but I'm giving you the facts for the devils the racist faces devils of India are getting exposed now by Canada Canada is not a small nation or a nation which is uh, which is basically violating human rights. It's the nation respected among the UN, very respected nation. And when Canada is saying that it has to shunt out India diplomats from its nation, you can understand the trespassing morons tendency of India. So okay folks, this trespassing morons of India, 
the tendencies which I have always been alerting you that in my neighborhood I find the same trespassing morons. Wherever I reside, it was in Chandigarh, it was here in Jaipur. I have two residents here, as I have been telling you. I have seen these trespassing morons will always trespass. This is a basic tendency I find among India racist faces, rapist devils. They'll trespass. And it has been the case with a lot many females who are suffering from the rapist India uh, uh, population where they trespass into the houses of females and they rape the females and girls. I've seen India sex trafficking agencies, agents delivering females around my neighborhood vicinity always, as I've been alerting you. And the trespassing morons of India, racist faces, rapist devils of India are always around my neighborhood raping females. Okay, folks, uh, we jump on to another critical topic between China and India. China and India has been having dispute for a long time. Uh, ever since China got independence and became free after 1949, it had already claimed that the India has been occupying its territories. So it's been right from very beginning, China has claimed after getting independence that India has been occupying territories of China, basically the Tibet. So all the borderline areas of India with China, there is a lot of areas which are covered by India, occupied by India. That's the claim of China. Okay, I'm not saying something from my side. It's whatever is there. I'm a messenger, folks. Okay, a messenger, messenger is a person who will deliver you the message. Okay, so don't shoot the messenger. Because what happens is, as I limelight the, the Devil's Association of India, the criminal cronies of India spreading across, they are basically always and always anti-humanity and anti-original personality as the Asrana. The state-sponsored terrorism of India is world known, world popular and I have been suffering the state-sponsored terrorism for last ever since I landed from US from North America to India. Because they don't like the people who speak truth. I tell you the simple, simple fact about India. They don't like the people who speak truth. They like people who spread lies, deceit, deception, trespassing morons. That's what India is mostly liking those people, rapists, racist faces, rapist devils. No wonder India could never score a gold medal in France 2024 Olympics. It's no wonder to me. I already predicted way before, you can check my post, oneworldpress.org. I predicted way before, India will not secure any gold medal. And you will ask me why? How do I know they will not? Because Olympics gold medal cannot be secured by those people who are running deceit, deception, racist faces, rapist agenda all across and siding with devils. It is not based on lies, deceit, deception. That's a simple fact. No matter how much of strength you have, your strength will be useless against a person which is much less in strength against you, but he has truth. So the world, most of the world people, except India, is, is, is following the truth, truthful path. But India, belligerent India, state of denial India is always opposite of that. No matter how much of Modi yoga, you know, the Mo Mo Modi yoga selling the snake's oil is not working. He has been selling snake oil since 2014. That come and join Modi yoga. And Modi yoga will make India perform better strength, stamina. And world is laughing now on Modi yoga. So you got, to, you got to see what person, what the snake oil is they are selling. They are selling the snake's oil. And people are awakening now. China is awakened long before it had to fight a battle with India in 1962. 
because india wanted to fight the war with china they say who oh, who can you attack us who can you attack us because the attack was provoked by india and uh, because india was belligerent that it want to occupy more and more land as i tell you the trespassing morons tendency is in their dna they want to grab the land they don't want to have peace they want to grab more and more land because they have population bomb explosion for the world so what are they going to do they don't have enough land they're going to they're going to trespass they're going to trespass into your nation so that's what china knew in 1962 so it had to attack india to teach them a lesson oh wow india learned the lesson ever since 1962 india has been folding hands against china the mighty china the god gifted china india has been folding hand you can see always they will be folding hands yep that's a, that's a metaphor for this metaphor morons who have been playing metaphor moron tricks around my neighborhood you can see how they fold hands whenever they meet china they know china is something they cannot they cannot ever win they will always lose a war with china okay this is my prediction these people know the zero gold medal nation india knows they will never win against china the only thing they will do is they will have deceit deception they they'll do metaphor moron tricks they'll do all this deceit deception around across the world try to win over china but still they can't <laughs> because i bless china always because i myself have been victim of india state sponsored terrorism yep india state sponsored terrorism on me has been there ever since i landed from north america to india in 2010 not only they the racist faces rapist devil association of india i tell you they are having the largest clout and i i don't want to name the political parties but you know the whosoever is a racist faces ruling political party of india yep bjp is on limelight the racist faces agenda is known to the world of bjp so i tell you these agents their 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 stooges are basically anti humanity mostly because what they want to do is they want to kill the truth they want to kill the truth <laughs> but these belligerents devils don't know that the truth cannot be killed three things in the whole universe cannot be hidden for long sun moon and the truth they want to kill the truth folks and that's not working for them so they won zero gold medal in olympics <laughs> india had 275 or 250 plus delegates they won zero gold medal the whole world is laughing every time on the other hand pakistan had only 7 delegates and they won one gold medal what a shame india brings to the whole world and modi yoga stamina strength performance he is always speaking on top every sunday holding the mic and preaching india oh my yoga is best you know <laughs> my yoga is the best so he is giving the mic every sunday to brainwash the whole india on modi yoga and he he got zero gold medal <laughs> he is will he feel ashamed will he ever will he ever accept that yes his yoga is not working no as i told you india other name is state of denial so folks you got to be very aware of this bjp for last 5 7 years the bjp racist faces agenda is getting exposed to everyone they are targeting muslims they are targeting the ethnic minority sikh they are targeting even christians because they hate they hate the humanity in other hand that's what has come forward otherwise why would they have spat why would they always have arguments or why would they always have communal violence with the people that's what i want to tell you you want to be very very clear on the state agenda of bjp so the state sponsored terrorism of india has got wings now with bjp bjp racist faces agenda is is basically everywhere now spreading everywhere i have to speak the truth folks to you okay uh we have enough proof we have enough evidence that bjp it cell has been working to basically cut down is basically to tarnish the image of saints innocent original personality these people these people are working behind the scenes so i don't know folks my personal opinion which i observed as you know i don't side with any devils or racist faces agenda of india i don't side with any pervert pedophiles or marital rape people of india many of the perverts who are raping females under marital rapes agenda so as i keep telling you the truth i find that's my personal opinion that ever since the bjp has come to power in india the rapes of females of india has become more gruesome more brutal 
everywhere across India. The Kolkata rape of doctor is not just single isolated incident of a female who was raped a doctor, but it's it's widespread across the India. The BJP wanted to highlight only Kolkata rape because they want to demonize someone else. They they are always in state of blaming someone else for their evil deeds. Well, if you ask me, or if you ask Google, who is the who is having the highest rapes? Which state of India is having the highest rapes? Which religion of India is having the highest raping females? Which religion of India? You have the answers, folks. I don't want to name it because that becomes too biased if I speak. But you got to search the facts by yourself. Which state of India is having the highest rapes, and who is the ruler of that state of India? So, folks, I limit my speech here because, see, I am a single man army. Let me tell you the facts about me. S J S Rana, Surinder J Singh Rana, who has been reporting you the world events for last fourteen years on World One World Press dot WordPress dot com. I am a single man army always. I get no assistance. I get no associates. I get no help from anyone. And you must be surprised. Yeah, it's a surprise to me itself that how come I am alive in India. For last fourteen years, I have been reporting the truth, but I am alive. It's by God's grace. No one else, no one else is assisting me, folks, directly or indirectly. It's by the God's grace because I'm speaking truth, and I don't fear that I'm speaking truth. Yep, the devils may be around; they may be in millions and millions in numbers, but against truth, they'll they'll all fall short. Just like a single matchstick can burn the whole forest, the whole woods, and and a single tree. Generates millions and millions of matchstick, but one matchstick is required to burn the whole whole forest, whole woods, and that's the power of truth, folks. I want to tell you. So this is what Modi won't preach. Modi never preaches on his on his radio shows, talk shows that hey, folks, you got to be aligning with truth. You got to be winning gold medals by by speaking truth, by living truthful life, not by deceit and deception. The yoga will not win the gold medal, folks. The world politics already know. The world leadership already know. Recently, in BRICS, where India met China, <laughs> even President Xi asked India, "Why you didn't go? Why you didn't win gold medal in Olympics, France, 2024? You have the largest delegation of Olympics representative." The Modi yoga was silent. <laughs> Modi yoga was silent in front of, uh, of BRICS leadership that why they didn't gold medal. Why they didn't win gold medal in France Olympics 2024? So, go, Fox, you got to do some introspection. I'll take a break here. A pause. Okay, folks. Shifting topics on another major event, which is lying ahead. I see that I cannot divulge the information because uh, <laughs> if I predict, if I tell you the time and line, the India racist faces devils will grab that information and they'll sell you, and then they'll ask that we want to rape females because this information when they sell to you, they want to rape the females in my neighborhood. 
this has been going on for past one year relentlessly and for past 10 years here and there as i've been telling you so the moment i predict i tell they have 24 by 7 surveillance on me state sponsored terrorism of india they surveillance me 24 by 7 i tell you folks so anytime i, I speak any information which i want to help humanity these racist faces devils of india will grab that information and sell it to you and they will ask you that we want to rape females now for this information we want to rape females we want to basically grab international visa because we are telling this information from past eight nine years i have been giving you a lot of information heads up i gave you in november october 2019 heads up for may hashtag may 2020 ww3 yep the world war 3 will start it started with pathogens folks it was the nature's call the nature was giving you that yes he has said it right so the world war 3 started with pathogens covid 19 had lot of mutations because i predicted in october 2019 and my handle was on Twitter, SGS Rana, at SGS Rana. But the criminal cronies of Twitter, the hate mongers, the racist faces, Twitter took off and suspended my account, handle SGS Rana. Twitter is now formally known as X, taken over by Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Musk is a very good personality, I tell you. He follows truth. He is a truthful person. And he is giving a lot of good things to the world. I want to always highlight good people. So follow Elon Musk, I tell you. He's a very good person, good-natured person, and he wants to follow truth, and he's following truth always. He's, he's basically, you know, uh, unflinching devotions towards bringing humanity to the next level. So I would endorse, I would endorse Elon Musk. And if Elon Musk is endorsing Trump, <laughs> now you wanted to ask this question, if he's endorsing Trump, then folks, uh, that is his goodwill, and he's basically, he's, he's won the hearts of people. So he must be having something great in his mind. So okay folks, I want to tell you that uh, just to be sure and don't fall for the deceit deception of India and racist faces devils. The devil's army, racist faces of India are running around my neighborhood always the sex trafficking business industry of India and befooling the world leadership. So just to be clear again that SJS Rana has never never taken anything car, cash, money, lottery, international visa, house, property, females, girls from rapists, racist faces, rapists, devils, delivery agents. The metaphor morons, delivery agents of India are one man army siding with the racist faces, devils who are grabbing these things. So they are one. Okay, don't think they are two. They are one, they are in unison and they are working as a racist faces, devils army of India. Perhaps working for BJP. Perhaps working for BJP. Okay, I always cast doubt because I see things which people don't see. But I, I just tell you, it's my personal opinion. You can challenge that. So, as you can see, the state-sponsored terrorism is quite evident. I know the world leadership. I want to thank them who have wished good for me, who have wished well for me. And they wanted to deliver this favor. Uh, they've always delivered it, but it hasn't come to me because the moment it enters India... The racist faces, devils, the rapist devils of India will grab everything. As I've told you, the trespassing morons want to grab everything of the world. The trespassing moron tendency of India is seen in the DNA. Because I keep telling you, repeating you, every 8 out of 10 India population is downright corrupt, mostly morally, ethically bankrupt, pathological liars, with exceptional hate crimes against humanity, truth-tellers and original personality as J.S. Rana. So the problem in the India people DNA, I'm saying 8 out of 10, in their DNA is that they're bludgeoned liars. They lie just about anything. They'll run deceit and deception. World show selling the snake oil.
सो फोक्स ऑन दिस वॉर वर्ल्ड वॉर थ्री एज आई गिविन यू लास्ट सेवन एट डेज हेड्स अप एंड आई बिन टेलिंग यू नो वर्ल्ड वॉर थ्री इज़ अ लाइफ ओके सो फार इट वॉज डोमेंट बिकॉज ओनली रशिया एंड यूक्रेन वर फाइटिंग बट नाउ इट्स बिकम अ लाइव एंड लॉट ऑफ नेशंस विल जॉइन इन आई टेल यू दिस इज माई प्रोडिक्शन अगेन सो वी सी इसराइल हैज़ पाउंडेड इरान अगेन एंड द ओनली रीजन इट डिट वॉज वेरी लिमिटेड स्कोप आइसोलेटेड स्कोप इट डजेंट वॉन्ट टू एक्सक्लेट इट फर्दर इवन इसराइल डजेंट वॉन्ट इट बिकॉज आई बिन एडवाइजिंग इसराइल दैट बी वेरी केयरफुल इरान इज नॉट अ नॉर्मल नेशन इफ यू ट्राई टू डू टू मच ओवर ओवर किल द ओवर किल द थिंग्स दैन इट इट विल बी वेरी वेरी बैड फॉर इसराइल ऑल्सो I feel bad about Israel. I uh, really have solidarity about the people of Israel and Jews. Where on October 17th, the worst thing of humanity could occur, which was unthinkable, unimaginable, cannot be comprehended, cannot be forgiven, cannot be forgotten. So I have solidar solidarity with Israel and Jews for this reason. Then on October 7th, 2024, the most horrific, barbaric event occurred in Israel. Yep, in the land of Israel. that's what the biggest problem is in the land of israel there was a most barbaric horrific event of the humanity where not even the kids one year old two year old breast um, breastfeeding kids uh, child or you can say infant but not spared that's my problem and this where i i stand against any army i can stand against anyone because we doesn't want we don't want to have that thing up occur on planet earth planet earth is for everyone but they have to be peaceful coexistence it cannot be that some racist faces agenda driving against the humanity hitler did something unimaginable and you know he paid the price yep it is not jews or israel who attacked hitler so that's not what the history tells or that's not what the fact is it is that hitler had hate mongering against the jews innocent jews females girls child elders senior citizens and he had to pay the price same the biggest mistake done by these hamas or you can say hasbola was attacking kids in fans small girls female child that's the biggest blunder they did and this cannot be forgotten this will not be forgiven okay so so this is where the whole dynamics change folks otherwise if the hamas hasbola would have attacked israel soldiers they would have killed 100 1000 perhaps that would have been no matter even israel benjamin netanyahu would have forgotten because okay it's an attack on soldier the army they have to deal with the army agenda but the whole dynamics changed after october 7 2024 attack on israel and i told you way before i wrote articles i told you then also i told you this is the 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 complete changing trajectory of humanity now see some of the events which humanity is doing is basically their present karma their thinking of mindset whatever they have compassion about the humanity and people and some of the karma which which people do out of the racist faces rapist devil's agenda is basically of their mindset evil mindset and the other is the karma of the world the whole planet humanity they have the different karma and which the events are unfolding in front of our eyes but when a person a community association has the racist faces evil agenda they will do the things which are going to be horrific barbaric and these will never be forgotten even the planet earth mother nature will take the revenge as you can see mother nature has been taking revenge all across and these are going to increase these incidents are going to increase the mother nature wrath is going to increase all across the world i have given you the timeline hashtag #may2025 end so be careful be watchful uh, all these events which you are doing is not helping humanity so you got to be basically following the path of truth you want to be protecting females girls child you want to be doing lot of good deeds to basically overturn this tide which is about to come now Okay, folks. Uh, so we're gonna come another topic, touch another topic, which is DD Coms. 
Yep, Diddy Combs has been in limelight now and uh, for his sex trafficking role and basically uh, abusing, sex abusing hundreds and hundreds of females. So his party, he's, he's a party thrower and his parties, these uh, females were given horse tranquilizers, uh, you know, drug laced drinks and then once they fell unconscious, you know, they were relentlessly teamwork raped or battery, perhaps. That's what the reports are coming, folks. Some of these reports, which I can see from a spiritual sense, are really true. But some of them have some mixed, uh, mixed statements. I cannot uh, delineate. I cannot basically uh, give you the complete facts. But I have done a lot of analysis on it. And as I've been predicting all along and telling you the right path, uh, Weinstein, Harvey Weinstein was convicted. Uh, then we had Glenn Maxwell, lady, was convicted. Then we also have uh, uh, the other person, which is basically Jeffrey Epstein, was thrown into jail for running the sex, sex crime and sex trafficking industry, and which he died because of uh, the conspirators were there who wanted to hide the facts. So apart from that, another thing is that we see all these people coming up. R. Kelly was thrown into jail. So a lot of these people which have been thrown into jail for their, for their valid reasons and because the females are now awakened, they don't take this, uh, what I call the bishit, from perverts, pedophiles who are exploiting them, who are basically uh, coercing them into sex trade industry. So, as you can see, DDCOMS, 120 females have come forward, uh, basically leaving DDCOMS as sex abuser, who has basically terrorized, threatened at many times, and basically given horse tranquilizer. Yep, can you imagine horse tranquilizers were given to the females, just so that some few males perverts predators could enjoy females so folks this is the industry which is the most worse and i'm telling the fastest growing industry in the world which is sex trafficking females and i've been already alerting you that around my neighborhood around my vicinity always the india racist faces devil association is running sex trafficking industry and why you would ask around my vicinity or neighborhood because <laughs> they are bringing the females telling the deceit and deception that you will meet this original personality because if they want to meet me, state-sponsored terrorism will capture their cell phone and their uh, details and profile them and they'll bring around my neighborhood. I have no idea who is around my neighborhood. I'm not been told. I'm not involved. I don't want to get involved with the racist faces, rapist devils association of India under state-sponsored state terrorism. I'm never involved, folks. But they will bring in this name and then they'll say, see, he doesn't come. He is not meeting you. He is not come outside. All this bullshit. Sorry, I have to use this word for India, racist faces, rapist devils, the bullshit people. So they will basically bullshit with females also. And then they'll rape them females and then they'll grab the bounties, international visas, making fool of international leadership. Folks, how much long are you going to, you're going to be befooled by India, racist faces, rapist devils? How long? Aren't you, aren't you, haven't you had enough? Haven't you had enough? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Misleading your community as well by following India Racist Faces Devils Association, raping females here and there. Hi folks, so are you doing? This is SJS Rana, Surinder G Singh Rana reporting for October 26 World Events for OneWorldPress.org, also known as OneWorldPress.wordpress.com. So today a lot of topics but uh, main topics we have been focusing for last three days. I have been constantly releasing podcasts that World War III is, is, is becoming uh, more live, alive and it's ongoing right now. Yeah, the one which was sleeping or latent which is World War III event has now become alive. I have been constantly releasing videos and podcasts for this purpose only for last three four days folks. That's my only reason I'm spending this time. So you are alerted, you are aware, you are not basically blindsided by your leadership or by, especially like in India, deceit, deception, leader, leadership is always befooling people around. So, because they, they can't get awakened. And you need to be awakened, you need to be alerted and know that events are unfolding now which is of the highest and the epitome level. So at midnight today, Israel launched major strikes uh, in the Iran and a lot of the zones which it covered was basically very secretive and it was well planned. It sh shared the intel with the US. Only with the US it shared the intel and basically during the strikes, Israel has launched major strikes against the facilities which are producing drones and also which are producing missiles. Yep, so Israel, first phase of war, this is first phase, where it has struck Iran and directly into the zone 
entering the zone of Iran, the space, uh, airspace of Iran. Yep, the fighter jets enter the airspace of Iran today and it basically strike down all the targets which it has planned for producing missiles and drones. Yeah, that is phase one. Now the phase one, phase one is complete. Phase two will start very soon. Because if Iran attacks Israel again, then there's going to be other escalations. I've already laid out the plan three, four days back that there'll be three phases. This is phase one, which is complete now. Phase two will include targeting people which is basically going to be the top leadership commanders, military people, or you know other other dignitaries which are important. Could be Hezbollah uh, chief. It has already uh, done a lot of target, but the new chiefs keep appearing. Hezbollah and uh, all the other uh, you know funding or these people who are attacking Israel. So that is phase two. Phase three will be basically directly striking the nuclear side zones or uh, more of the communications and more of the basic fundamental facilities of the Iran. Basically, it could be power grid, it could be you know water system, it could be a lot of those things. That is plan three or phase three, but that's going to be the lar bigger target. So this is how it has begun, Fox, and it's already now there, which I've given you three, four days heads up. I've given you that. So we now fully expect Iran to also prepare for some some retaliatory action that's there, but I don't know it's going to be in a in a in a position to now counterbalance or counterattack immediately. It may launch missiles and drones again still just to counterbalance that. That is what we expect. So I could see that happening in a day or two. Missiles and drones launched from Iran again. That is possible. So Israel is aware of that and it's going to prepare for that part. But for now. For now, uh, this escalation at the level of uh, uh, which was surprise, which was awe and shock, has already been seen to the world. That it was instant, it was precise, it was just targeting the things which had it planned. Israel has planned already. I think the whole factor which you are aware has started from October 7, 2024, brutal attack by the Hezbollah and Hamas. And that has led to this, this event, that which I was telling you at that time also. Uh, October 7th, I told you that it's going to continue and it's going to escalate. So you see the escalation going on and we are in World War III right now. So you open your eyes. If you're sleeping, you're asleep. Uh, you need to take a look around and see what's going on. The other, other major escalation which we are witnessing for a long time, which is Canada and India row. Canada has expelled India diplomats, as you are aware, and recently it has escalated it to... So as you are aware, Canada has expelled India diplomats. After that, the India tried to do tit for tat. It tried to exp, uh, expel uh, Canada di diplomats from India, but before it could do, Canada has already taken back Canadian diplomats because Canada is now aware of India deceit and deception and uh, diplomats running criminal cronies in their nation. So to give another blow to India and its India Racist Faces Rapid Devil Association, Canada has recently launched another, uh, another effective way. It is trying to cut down India laborers which are getting exported from India to, to Canada. Yep. Canada has announced openly that it's going to cut India immigration to, to Canada. Mostly the laborers, you know, the lower worker class, beggars, laborers, you know, who don't get any, any job in India are basically thriving in Canada. They jump into the bandwagon. They somehow have the corruption with the agents and they process some papers or some, sometimes it's given as an exchange of student or whatnot. So all these, uh, you know, monkey business is going on where the laborers, the baggers of India is also seen uh, basically immigrating to Canada. The racist, racist, rapist also are seen in it. So now Canada, just to end this uh, whole rigmarole and all this monkey business, Canada has openly, openly proclaimed that it's going to cut 
laborers immigration from india also on a broader level it's going to cut other immigrations for the world but mostly it is going to target india so india now tit for tat <laughs> now you laugh every time india is doing tit for tat so we'll all look the whole world i7 intelligence i5 intelligence russia china all is looking at india what tit for tat india will do <laughs> so let me take a break folks this is the most funny part here So folks let look at the deceit and deception of India now the leadership deceit and deception which is this monkey business to the whole world so when canada expelled india diplomats india said oh for for that we are going to expel canada diplomats from india okay uh, that's well said monkey business now when canada said we are going to cut india laborers which are coming to canada we are going to cut all those immigration now india is looking around the india yoga is looking around what to do the zero gold medal nation deceit deception can do anything canada doesn't uh, canada doesn't uh, canada doesn't export laborers of canada to india <laughs> it's only the india which exports their laborers to get some begging to get some work turn there or beggars who are there racist faces beggars so this sex trafficking nation india uh basically trading females around my neighborhood <laughs> is left is le if left speechless now it doesn't speech it doesn't have speech now so we will see how india is going to respond tit for tat although india stooch is especially some former uh former cm of punjab old man the arvinder i don't know he is speaking some you know again that be said you know <laughs> making fool of people So folks this is the monkey business india is doing deceit and deception to the world so it says we expel the diplomats of canada from india now canada has cut the jobs cut the laborers which is it's exporting from india to canada begging laborers immigration you know lot of them are racist faces devils which are criminal cronies in canada joining the assassin club all has been exposed by i5 i7 intelligence you know the dovel intelligence is a complete failure he is only master of deceit deception spreading lies misinformation the doval agency of india but uh, i7 i5 are much more enhanced and they know what india is capable of so we'll see the world is watching now what india is going to do tit for tat when the canada has expelled diplomats and has also cut off india immigration to canada yep the laborers racist faces rapists devils will no more be able to get immigration into canada
Okay, folks, as usual, I've always been exposing the deceit, deception of India, the racist faces, rapist devils around my neighborhood. You know, they always gather around my neighborhood wherever I go, whether it's Mohali, Chandigarh city or Jaipur, wherever I go in the localities. These racist faces, rapist beggars, yeah, the beggars racist will always gather around my vicinity because the sex trafficking of India is flourishing because of me. Because, uh, you know, the deceit, deception they play is that, oh, no, we are having someone to meet the person, which is original personality as just Rana, where I am not at all involved, I am not communicated, I am not given any information, neither I am told. All the other racist faces, rapist devils around my neighborhood are acting like one unit, like one army, the army of deceit and deception and the beggars. They are begging army. They will always beg visas, girls, cash, money, bounty. These are beggars. Again, I use the word which I have to only use for India, which is the bullshit, rapist, racist, fascist beggars, the bullshit people. So again, as, as I keep proclaiming, this is my disclaimer, okay, my, my open disclaimer, that SGS Rana has never, never taken anything, car, money, cash, lottery, international visas, property, house, females, girls from the racist, faces, rapists, beggars, devils, delivery agents and metaphor raping gang of India, which is always around my vicinity neighborhood, serving devil, the devils, the renegade officers and professional rapists, trespassing morons. Yeah, trespassing morons. Fraudsters, scammers. SJ Rana has zero acquaintance since most of the imposters, impersonators are claiming they are friends of SJS Rana. Yep, most of them are claiming that. I may have one or two friends, but they are only uh, at the level, at the highest level of friendship only, which is basically they've been like with me for 25, 30 or 40 years. Okay, they are they are there. But we, we, are, we are away from this bullshit of uh, India, sex trafficking and all those nonsense, which is already being done by other imposters, impersonators around my neighborhood. Okay, the daily uh, transporting females around my neighborhood, somewhere in the house, who is running a prostitution business somewhere around the neighborhood who is running a prostitution business will hold these females and some beggar racist faces india devil will come and rape them yep that has been going on for last one years rigorously and past 10 years here and there okay but for last one year rigorously they have been relentlessly raping females mostly the ethnic minorities people who come to wish to meet me which is from the sikh religion Mostly of them, these females have been relentlessly raped by these racist faces, rapist beggars, devil association of India. Somewhere they do it in secret. Since I am not being told, I am not communicated, I am not part of them, and neither of them, the people who come, they are terrorized. Females are mostly terrorized by, by them. As you can see on your view graph, on your screen, this is the uh, YouTube video, public video I have released over a year ago. Yep, this is on India sex trafficking business, the monkey business. The bullshit people who are doing, you know, sex trafficking. Racist faces, rapist devils of India Association. This is, this is their monkey business. Hi folks, what are you doing? This is SJS Rana, Surinderji Singh Rana, reporting for October 25th. And uh, we are going to cover various topics. Basically, primarily World War Three. Then we also going to cover Mother Nature wrath on India. How in past and in present the Mother Nature wrath is basically working on India relentlessly because of the racist, rapist, fascist, devils association of India spreading their tentacles all across, and this is causing the Mother Nature to become furious now. Also, uh, we look at other areas of uh, India, massive marital rapes, Olympics, gold medal distribution at washroom, bedrooms, houses of India, how uh, Supreme Court is dealing with it and what's the future ahead for the laws of that. Also, again, again we're going to take a look at the sun. So, as you can see, sun, right now, this is current status of sun from far east side. It is now spreading and it's coming nearer to the to the planet earth alignment where we will see a lot of flares we've already seen flare yesterday we'll also seen some flares minor flares m class one two three flares it's ongoing right now but i told you predicted you day before on my video podcast that we will see by sunday major flares hitting the earth yeah the major cme will be there so prepare for it folks 
So as the sun is giving the indication, the mother nature wrath on India is ongoing right now past uh, two days. Uh, we can see on the on the eastern side of India, Bay of Bengal, as you can see on your view graph over here that uh, this storm known as Dana has been g uh, gathering steam and now is ponding the India eastern coast which is basically the state of Bengal and Orissa. So yeah, over here the mother nature wrath is pounding and it's relentless. This storm is not of that category what we see as hurricanes which is cat 5, 6. However, this is just like you can say 100 to 130 kilometers per hour packing speed, wind gust. So it's not of that intensity. But what happens in India is that it makes a huge landfall and because the India doesn't have a lot of uh, good well planning of municipal uh, what happens is the whole cities, villages get inundated. So once it gets inundated, we see all this sort of uh, water clogging and other issues, waterborne diseases and malaria and all the other things. But the thing over here is that uh, this storm is gathering because uh, of uh, we see the weather changes, weather pattern changes, the global warming is one of the main cause. And I tell you, this is uh, this is not that intensity of a storm which we saw in 2023. In 2023, we saw a major storm which basically costed India 2.3 billion US dollars. Yep, in India, it costed 2.3 billion dollars in 2023. Now this is 2024, and it may not cost that much, but I tell you, it's it's trying to show show the strength, the Mother Nature wrath. Also, we saw in August 2024 major flash flooding and flooding all across the state of Gujarat. Yep, you can see the view graph here. The Gujarat was inundated, flooded with water. It was unexpected. People don't know about it, how it came, but it was Mother Nature wrath. I started predicting long time ago. As you can see on this view graph, this I predicted at least, at least in June, which was unheard of. In June 2024, I predicted that we'll see Mother Nature wrath soon flooding across India. So as you can see, it has started doing it in 2024 alone. And in 2025 has yet to come. My prediction is for hashtag MAY 2025 END. Basically where we'll see India will be inundated with flooding, mother nature wrath all across earthquakes, what not. So because there is a lot of reasons I tell you, I've been telling you in past that the racist, fascist, racist, fascist, rapist development in India, their tentacles, the rapist tentacles around my neighborhood basically the racist faces rapist clan of India which is mostly around my neighborhood wherever I go these people spread across their tentacles and they, they start raping females around they become impersonators, imposters, thugs, scammers they basically terrorize females, terrorize families and they start raping them because for them which is basically devils in huge number in India they are anti-truth, anti-saints so that's the basic reason. They don't like truth. They don't like the saints. They are hate mongers of India. They hate criminals which are running hate, hate crime branches of India. So basically India is also known as a, known as a nation for hate, hate crimes. Yep, they may not show you up front but they have a lot of hate crimes against a lot of religion, race, color, ethnicity and especially the ethnic minority religions like of India, Christianity, Muslim and Sikh. These people are hate mongers. They are basically hate criminals. They don't like those people because uh, they think they are the they are the rulers of the world and they are the king of the world. So I don't know for what reason communal violence in India has always been always been the main news headline every year. Yep, not even a single year you can go back from the independence of India from 1947. Not a single year India has passed peacefully where they don't have communal violence. Okay, communal violence over here because of the hate mongers, hate criminals, which are majority in India. Their mindset is to hate, to have hate crimes against humanity. So, as you can see, I've been telling you, I've seen myself experience, I've given you again and again that I see all these hate crimes, hate criminals around me. Around my neighborhood, these people are hovering around, running on bikes, racing on bikes and trying to run some state-sponsored terrorism. Okay, and to hijack, hijack everything around in the neighborhood, grabbing, hijacking. These are racist faces, rapist devils of India. Coming to the topic of this uh, storm of Dana, known as Storm Dana in the uh, ponding Bengal and Odisha, what can be expected from center? Uh, basically, center had provided uh, last in August 2024, Gujarat storm provided 1,419 crores to the farmers. 
can it provide to the people of orissa because both orissa and bengal state people are being pounded right now <clears throat> the farmers are hurt so center should announce 1100 419 crore relief package to them because they provided openly in in gujarat august just for one single state gujarat they announced 1419 crore to the farmers this is a huge sum folks just to let you know so uh, given the fact that orissa bengal and it's a big state and other states will be hit by the storm dana and again there will be more more uh, more uh, you can say the storms because the bay of bengal is known for generating lot of storms so the state india should provide 1100 419 crores to the states bay of bengal orissa to some of extend other uh, states which is around the periphery of of uh, these states so let's see what india goes going to do because you never know how much racism fascism uh, agenda they are running so that is given said and we don't know what they're going to do with these states so let's keep uh, moving ahead because of the global warming we find that lot of uh, states in india will be impacted now bay of bengal is known for storms generating lot of massive storms so we expect all these things to happen folks i just let you know so again i am touching this topic as just rana surinder ji singh rana which is me have never never taken anything car money cash international visa bounties from this metaphor morons racist fascist devils army delivery agents of india these association of delivery agents folks just to give you a brief point that they are basically one single army they are working for one agenda which is a racist faces rapist devils agenda of india yep these people will run racism fascism and rape females in my neighborhood most mostly they'll follow wherever i go they stalk me it's a gang stalking against me and they'll rape females around my neighborhood so what they do the trick they do the deceit they do to international i7 i5 people that they will keep the female or girl around my neighborhood somewhere in the house they are stored you know uh, it is stored in secret hidden which is not known to me i have passed no information ever i have not given any information neither do they communicate to me nor do they talk to me so these these uh, bullshit people racist faces rapist bullshit people of india they are themselves uh, doing this uh, shitty business okay they are they are themselves running this uh, clan you can say the uh, a terrorist cell sort of a terrorist cell who will terrorize females they will terrorize females in my neighborhood around my neighborhood and they rape them and these bullshit people racist faces rapists bullshit people of india have been raping females for at least one year constantly relentlessly and past many years also it is always and always around my neighborhood folks just to let you know so you can go back and uh, take a track wherever i am these bullshit people will be around my neighborhood strangers perhaps or they will have a collusion or they'll collude with neighbor neighbors who are also racist faces rapists because they want to rape females so who doesn't want to rape a female in india that's a big question <laughs> so i want to ask you this question who doesn't want to rape a female in india yep this question is is very normal in india it doesn't surprise india nobody is going to get shocked nobody is going to fall off the chair because they all know 8 out of 10 india population is downright corrupt mostly morally ethically bankrupt pathological liars with extreme hate crimes against saints truth tellers humanity and original personality as jis rana so wherever this thought of raping of a female or hijacking or terrorizing a female to rape always is generated from this racist faces rapist mindset so if a people if a person if a community is belligerent liars they are uh, they are anti saints or if they develop the tendency to become anti uh, humanity then they will rape this is the basic idea of raping females so they get this idea because they are anti humanity anti truth tellers so they want to rape the females that is why i have this question who doesn't want to rape a female in india as you know this facts which i'm telling you uh, india is the fastest rape rate clocking nation in the world yep every day it wins lot of gold medals in raping females yeah the average rate of india raping female is above is above 17 to 18 rapes per hour can you imagine fox each hour india is raping 17 to 20 females each passing hour yep that's the rate and uh, i am not counting the marital rapes okay mind it these marital rapes are not counted rapes in india 
they are counted as uh, implied consent of female to perform sex at will at day and night and mostly the liquor liquor drinking husband demand the mouth sex from india females yep it's known fact to everyone that all liquor drinking males demand mouth sex from india females and india females 700 million females don't protest so i will cover this topic in depth again but let's come to this topic of mother nature wrath why mother nature is always pounding india here and there earthquakes what not famine if it's not earthquake it's flooding if it's not flooding it's famine if it's not famine it's hunger if it's not hunger it is communal violence so all these things india is always active folks i tell you with all the evil agendas so all the evil uh, karmas are pounding back on india because of the racist faces rapist devils association is 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 strong is very strong and they have millions of followers in india you have to be racist fascist and rapist then you have millions of followers in india by default you don't have to ask them they'll come and join you because birds of the same feather flock together so on this top, tropical storm dana brings heavy rains and strong wind to india's eastern coast and it's packing 110 km per hour speed and i can't tell you how 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 aligned i am with the cosmic energy and telling you this beforehand so on october 23rd 24th i was playing this song i was telling you the song and this uh, image i gave you of the ocean and this uh, mother nature in the ocean activating and i have given you this snoop dog song which is i see your bullshit you can always hear this song this is uh, when you hear this song you will always get the image of india and the racist fascist rapist devils of india and then you can say openly i see your bullshit Okay folks uh, we come back to the topic of world war 3 so as you can see there are various headlines from all the areas uh, now converging to world war 3 people are openly saying that we are in world war 3 which i was saying from 2019 <laughs> so i gave you this idea and i gave you this prediction that in 2019 october november i predicted hashtag #may2020 ww3 so i gave you heads up that by 2020 we'll see world war 3 starting in in the whole world globe and uh, because of this uh, dire prediction the tutor the tutor criminal cronies the criminal empire of tutor basically uh, shut down my account yep they hijacked my account just like facebook has recently hijacked my account the tutor hijacked my account in 2019 after i gave this prediction but then in 2020 the world knows that there were a pandemic there were pathogens all across and the world was shut down so the criminal cronies uh, criminal cronies of tutor were themselves hiding under the desk in the washroom yep covered their masks covered their faces they were hiding in the washroom uh, or somebody was dying in the hospital some of their relatives or some of their known person yep the tutor criminal cronies had to pay a heavy price folks for for uh, for basically shutting down my account for hijacking my account in 2019 just to give you a glimpse So folks uh, while we are on world war 3 we also see lot of hate crimes surging it will surge uh, to a very great extent now i give you a warning heads up and we can see recently anti semitism symbols to tease the jews and israel was seen all across people are doing it much more often and a man pleaded guilty for displaying swastika as anti israel demonstration so all these people who are who are basically displaying swastika at their houses at their temples or at their flags or what not are basically anti semitism people they are anti jews they are anti israel people which we have seen mostly so be aware of them if you are seeing them with swastika you must understand these people have a evil mindset because they have some evil thing in their mind that's why this symbol is coming again and again and we saw how hitler basically was uh, was genociding or doing a holocaust on jews which is well documented fact now after the nuremberg nuremberg 